Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use the replace features in Microsoft Word to clean up this document. Okay, so I'm sure a lot of you have used the replace feature in Word before. In fact, to easily demonstrate it, let me just open up a new document. I'm going to throw out some random text. And I'm going to use the replace feature to replace a word. So for instance, in this document with text, I see the word video occurs multiple times. So I am going to, on my home ribbon, go to the replace option, which is over on the far right side. It opens up a dialog box. I'm going to replace the word video with magical moving pictures. So I'm replacing one word with a three word phrase. And I'll choose replace all. It says all done, we made 16 replacements. There we go, and I can see Magical Moving Pictures is now part of my document, and the word video is not part of the document. So that's pretty good. Replacing words is easy, but there are more options you can use with the Find and Replace tools, and a um, bunch of different options in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this, and I'm gonna go to another document that I need to use Replace with. And here it is. So this is a job description, and I'm almost certain this information was entered into a website and then that data was copied and pasted into a document which was sent to me as a PDF file. So I took the information from a PDF file, pasted it into Word, and it's clearly quite, you know, a bit messed up. And I want to clean it up before I send it on to some other folks. So I'm going to use the replace command. And it's kind of important the order I do this, but let me get rid of these weird special characters. I see throughout the document there are these little A's. Um, these little A symbols, and I'm sure that's just a, a, an artifact coming from the copy and paste from a website. So I want to fix that. Now I've selected one of them here. I don't need to, but I'm going to press Control C to copy. I'm going to open up my Replace dialog box, and you can see that the Find What already has that weird special character in there. And now I don't want to replace it with Magical Moving Pictures. What I could do, I have some options. I could replace it with nothing, so there's absolutely nothing in the replace box. I could put a single space in there with my space bar. Um, I think I will replace it with nothing. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose replace all. And I'll search from the beginning. It made 21 replacements. Great. So all those weird special characters are gone now. Let me close the replace dialog box. Now the other mess up on this particular document is it looks like there's hard returns right in the middle of sentences and things like that. And if I turn on my formatting marks on the home ribbon, the little paragraph formatting marks, I can see that, yeah, there's the somebody, not somebody, but anyway, there's hard returns scattered throughout right in the middle of sentences. I want to get rid of all those hard returns. Um, so I'll just click at the top of my document. I'm going to open up my replace dialog box. I'm going to find what? I'm going to go down to the bottom of the Find and Replace dialog box, look at Special, and I'm going to click on Paragraph Marks. There's lots of choices in here. I'm going to select all the paragraph marks, and I'm going to replace them with a single space. So I've just clicked my space bar once, replacing hard returns with a single space. And then I will just choose Replace All. It made 15 replacements, and that really squeezed up my document quite a bit. Excellent close that. Now I want to get rid of these. It looks like these are manually entered bullets. It's like an M dash and a bullet symbol, but these aren't real. Um, this isn't like a bulleted list bullet. These are just inserted symbols. And it looks like for the most part it's the M dash, a little bullet, and then a space. The little dot there symbol. Zoom in real a lot so you can really see this. There we go. So the little dot that you see there is the special formatting mark that Word uses to represent a space. So it's kind of helpful to see where spaces are. All right, I'm going to go ahead and select one of these. Trios, basically. M dash bullet space. I'll co copy it, even though I don't think I need to. I'll go to my replace dialog box. Right, so I do. And I'm going to let's see if I can paste it in there. Nope, I can't. Let me uh, try this again. I'm going to select this trio, copy, control C, go to my replace dialog box, paste, control V, and I've got that in there. And what do I want to replace this with? I want to replace it with, I think, this is where I want to put a hard return in. So I'm going to replace with 
a paragraph mark. All right, and then I'm gonna do replace all. I'll search at the beginning. And I'll click OK. So it's made those replacements. And if I zoom out now, I can see that this is looking a little bit better. Um, Okay, and in fact, now I can simply create a normal bulleted list in Word. It looks like this could and should be a bulleted list. So I can select these paragraphs on my home ribbon, just choose my bulleted list button. There we go, and that's got the normal bullet character. By the way, that arrow represents a tab, but if I turn off my formatting marks, we won't see that. And this document's looking a lot better. It looks like this might be a, a headline, so I can just put that off to the side and bold it. Perfect, so now I am satisfied with this document and I am ready to send it on to the next folks. Take care.